Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to write the equation of a circle in standard form. Okay, first, kapag yung circle with center at hk, so h that is the uh, x coordinate, so yung k natin that is the y coordinate. So tatandaan lang natin na yung h natin is the x coordinate and yung k natin is the y coordinate. And then, itong line segment na to, that is our radius, na kung saan, kung balikan natin yung previous video lesson natin, yung radius is the distance uh, from the center to its circumference. So, kapag ganito class, kapag kukunin natin yung equation ng circle, and then sulat natin standard form, so, this will be the formula, okay? X minus H squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, tatandaan natin class yung formula na to. Medyo mahaba lang siya, pero kailangan natin i-memorize. And, yung another case class, kapag yung ano natin, nasa origin. No? Yung circle natin, yung nasa origin siya. Kapag kukunin natin yung equation, ay, sulat natin yung equation ng circle, into standard form, okay, kapag in circle natin with the center at the origin, so anong mangyayari class? So, ang magiging equation na lang natin, that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Kasi kung papalitan natin ito ng 0, tapos yung k natin ng 0, therefore, maging x squared plus y squared na lang. Okay, so tatandaan. Kapag yung center natin, okay, so any part, kapag yung center natin wala sa origin, so, ang gagawin natin, ito, we're using this formula. Okay? Kapag yung center natin nasa origin ng circle, kapag si, nasa origin, so ibig sabihin, 0, 0. No? Yung, yung x-coordinate natin, 0, tapos yung y-coordinate natin ay 0. So, gagamitin natin tong formula na to. Okay, for example number 1, find the equation of a circle with center at 2, 7, and a radius of 6. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung h natin class is 2. So, yung value ng h natin is 2. Tapos, yung value naman ng k natin is 7. Okay? And the uh, value of radius 6. So, ang gagawin lang natin class, it, uh, is a substitute lang natin, yung h, and h, yung value ng k, at saka yung value ng radius, dito sa formula natin. Okay, so magiging x minus 2 squared plus, so yung h, pinalitan na natin ng 2, plus y minus 7, so yung k natin dito, that is ito yon okay, yung value niya, squared is equal to 6 squared, kasi naka-squared to. Okay, since pwede pa natin simplify yung 6 squared, so therefore, yung equation ng circle natin with center at 2, 7, and a radius of 6 is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to 36. So, kapag uh, green up natin class, okay, kapag green up nyo yan, so, ang center natin ay nasa 2, 7. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng Cartesian plane. 2, 7. So, 1, 2. So, dito 2. Then, 7. Uh, dapat dito, no? 6. 5, 6. Ah, oh, tama lang pala. Oh, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Okay, wait class. Mali lang yung given natin. Baguhin natin. Okay class. So, inayos lang natin. So, dapat yung center natin. Okay, yung center natin ay nasa 2, 7. So, ito yon. Okay, so kung titingnan natin class, tingnan natin yung distance. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng compass dito para sukat na sukat talaga. So, yung radius natin is 6. So, kung titingnan natin mula dito, papunta dito sa uh, circle natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, no? So, yan yung radius natin. So, kung pa ganito rin, 6 din. No? 6 units din mula dito. Mula dito, papunta doon, 6 units. So, kapag rinow natin sa uh, Cartesian plane, rinow natin yung graph nito, pwede nyo class, uh, pwede kayo gumamit ng compass. Okay, another example. Okay, if the center is at negative 5 and 3 
and a radius of 12. So, ganun din. Uh, yung negative natin, uh, negative 5 natin, that is our h or the x coordinate. And yung 3 naman, that is our k or the y coordinate. And the uh, value of our radius is 12. So, ganun lang din sa substitute natin. Since x minus h to, and then the x coordinate class is negative 5. So, kung negative yung x coordinate natin, so ilagay natin, no? lagyan natin ng parenthesis para uh, alam natin na kailangan natin i-multiply yung, uh, yung negative times negative 5. Okay, baka magtaka kayo pag nilagay ko na agad yan na x plus 5. Or pwede naman, pwede rin naman yung class na kapag sanay na kayo, kapag yung x coordinate natin is negative, automatic pag nilagay nyo dito, magiging positive siya. Ganun din kapag y coordinate. So again, so isa-substitute lang natin yung value ng h natin and yung k and then yung radius natin. So it will become x plus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to, so 12 squared or 12 times 12, that is 144. So, ito na yung equation ng circle natin with center at negative 5, 3 and a radius of 12. So, kung titignan natin yung graph niya, so saan makikita yung negative 5, 3? So, 1, so ito yung negative 5 natin, 1, 2, 3. So, mula dito sa center, kapag Ah, papunta dito, dapat ano, 12 units. No? So, check natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so kasi distance yan eh, mula sa center ng circle natin. Okay, another example. Uh, find the equation of a circle with the center at negative 4, negative 9. So, Yung x-coordinate natin is negative 4, and then yung y-coordinate natin is negative 9. So, ibig sabihin, uh, isa-substitute natin si negative 4 kay h, tapos si negative 9 naman kay k. So, kung titignan natin, yung center natin ay nasa quadrant at 3 ng Cartesian plane natin. And then, yung radius natin is 8. So, Sa substitute lang natin. So, x minus, x minus negative 4. Okay? So, x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus, so yung k natin is negative 9. Okay? The quantity of negative 9 squared is equal to 8 squared. So, negative times negative, that is positive. So, ganun din dito. Kaya magiging x plus 4 squared plus y plus 9 squared is equal to 144. So, paano naman class kapag yung center natin ay nasa origin nung uh, Cartesian plane natin? No? So, kapag ang circle natin, uh, yung center natin ay nasa origin and then yung radius natin is 4 units. So, sabi ko kanina, so we're going to use this formula. Okay. Ibig sabihin kasi, yung x-coordinate nito at y-coordinate ay 0, 0. So, hindi na natin gawin ito. No? Hindi na natin gawin. Ang papalitan na lang natin dito, yung simplify natin yung value ng radius. Kasi class, since nasa origin yung center ng circle natin, so, ibig sabihin, pag uh, sinaptitute natin yung x-coordinate sa so formula natin at yung y-coordinate natin, so, magiging x squared na lang to at magiging y squared. So, therefore, so substitute na lang natin yung value ng uh, radius natin which is 4 units. And 4 squared that is equal to 16. So, ibig sabihin, ang equation natin, uh, so, yung equation natin which uh, the center of the origin and the radius of 4 units is x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. So, tatandaan lagi class kapag ang center natin ay nasa origin. So, laging x squared plus y squared dito. Tapos, squared nyo lang yung radius. Okay? So, wala tayong ganito. Hindi kagaya dito na kapag ang center ay hindi sa origin. So, may ganito pa kayo. Pero kapag ang center nyo ay nasa origin, so x squared plus y squared na agad. Okay? Another example. I think this is the last example. 
Find the equation of a circle with center at the origin. So, ito yung pinaka-center natin. And the radius is 15 units. So, simula dito hanggang dito, 15 yan. Okay? So, ganun din dito. Ganun din pataas at pababa. 15 units. So, kukunin natin yung equation. So, ganun din. x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, yung r natin is 15 and... That is 15 squared. So, 15 times 15, the answer is 225. So, ibig sabihin, yung equation ng circle natin with center at the origin and the radius of 15 units is x squared plus y squared is equal to 225. Okay, test yourself. So, I'll give you 5 questions and then... Try to answer, try to write the equation of the given circles, of the following circles given the center and the radius. Okay? Sige. I'll give you uh, siguro mga one minute para sagutan. So kung kulang pa yung isang minuto, pwede nyo uh, stop yung video sa, para hindi nyo muna makita yung sagot dyan. Okay, so ito yung sagot natin for number 1. So, check your work. Number 1, x squared plus y squared is equal to 144. Number 2, x minus 2 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equal to 81. Number 3, x plus 7 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to 225. Number 4, x plus 4 squared plus y plus squared is equal to 50. Bakit naging 50? Kapag in-squared natin yung 5 squared out of 2, so i-squared yung 5. So, 5 squared is 25. And then, uh, ma mawawala itong radical natin. No? So, yung 25 ita times natin kay 2, kaya naging 50. Okay, sa so number 5, x minus 10 squared plus y plus 8 squared is equal to 27. Okay? So, kung uh, nakakuha kayo ng 5 out of 5, so congratulations in advance. So, pwede nyo i-share yung score nyo sa comment section ng video na to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson your Walmart channel.